कंजेस्टिव हार्ट फेलर हार्ट फेलर और कंजेस्टिव हार्ट फेलर इज द लॉन्ग टर्म कंडीशन इन विच हार्ट कॉन्ट पम्प ब्लड इनाफ टू मीट योर बॉडीज नीट हार्ट फेलर अकर्स वेन द हार्ट मसल डजेंट पम्प ब्लड एज वेल एज इट शर्ट वेन दिस हैपन्स ब्लड अफन बैक्स अप एंड फ्लूड कैन बिल्ड अप इन द लंग्स कॉजिंग शॉर्टनेस ऑफ ब्रेथ certain heart conditions gradually leave the heart too weak or stiff to fill and pump blood properly these conditions include narrowed arteries in the heart and high blood pressure types of congestive heart failure left sided heart failure right sided heart failure high output heart failure more than 6 million people in the united states has congestive heart failure It's the leading cause of hospitalization in people older than 65 years. Congestive heart failure symptoms. If you have heart failure, your heart can't supply enough blood to meet your body need. Symptoms may develop slowly. Sometimes heart failure symptoms start suddenly. Heart failure symptoms may include shortness of breath with activity or when lying down, fatigue and weakness. swelling in the legs ankles and feet rapid or irregular heartbeat reduced ability to exercise wheezing a cough that doesn't go away or cough that brings up white or pink mucus with spots of blood swelling of the belly area very rapid weight gain from fluid build up nausea and lack of appetite difficulty concentrating or decreased alertness chest pain if heart failure is caused by a heart attack heart palpitations need to urinate while resting at night a full bloated or hard stomach sometimes you have mild symptoms of congestive heart failure or none at all this doesn't mean you don't have heart failure anymore Symptoms of heart failure can range from mild to severe and may come and go. Causes of heart failure. Heart failure can be caused by a weakened, damaged or stiff heart. If the heart is damaged or weakened, the heart chambers may stretch and get bigger. The heart can't pump out the needed amount of blood. If the main pumping chambers of the heart called ventricles are stiff, they can't fill with enough blood between beats. The heart muscle can be damaged by certain infections, heavy alcohol use, illegal drug use and some chemotherapy medicines. Any of the following condition can damage or weaken the heart and cause heart failure. Coronary artery disease and heart attack. Coronary artery disease is the most common cause of heart failure. The disease results from the build up of fatty deposits in the arteries. The deposits narrows the arteries this reduces blood flow and can lead to heart attack. A heart attack occurs suddenly when an artery feeding the heart becomes completely blocked. Damage to the heart muscle from a heart attack may mean that the heart can no longer pump as well as it should. High blood pressure. High blood pressure also called hypertension. This condition forces the heart to work harder than it should. to pump blood through the body over time the extra work can make the heart muscle too stiff or too weak to properly pump blood heart valve disease the valves of the heart keep blood flowing the right way if a valve is not working properly the heart must work harder to pump blood this can weaken the heart over time treating some types of heart valve problems may reverse heart failure myocarditis Inflammation of the heart muscle also called myocarditis. It is most commonly caused by a virus including the COVID-19 virus and can lead to left-sided heart failure. Congenital heart defect. A heart problem that you have born with also called a congenital heart defect. If the heart and its chambers or valves have not formed correctly, the other parts of the heart have to work harder to pump blood. This may lead to heart failure. arrhythmias irregular heart rhythms may cause the heart to beat too fast creating extra work for the heart a slow heart beat may lead to heart failure treating an irregular heart rhythm may reverse heart failure in some people other diseases 
सम लॉन्ग टर्म डिजीजेस में कंट्रीब्यूट टू क्रॉनिक हार्ट फेलियर एग्जाम्पल्स आर डायबिटीज एच आई वी इन्फेक्शन एंड ओवर एक्टिव और अंडर एक्टिव थायरॉयड और अ बिल्डअप ऑफ आयरन और प्रोटीन कॉजेज ऑफ सडन हार्ट फेलियर ऑल्सो इंक्लूड एलर्जिक रिएक्शंस एनी इलनेस दैट अफेक्ट्स अ होल बॉडी ब्लड क्लॉट्स इन द लंग्स सिवियर इन्फेक्शंस यूज ऑफ सर्टन मेडिसन्स वायरसिस दैट अटैक द हार्ट मसल्स डायग्नोसिस To diagnose heart failure, healthcare provider examines and asks questions about symptoms and medical history. Your provider checks to see if you have risk factors for heart failure, such as high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, or diabetes. Tests. Tests that may be done to diagnose heart failure may include blood tests. Blood tests can help diagnose disease that can affect the heart. Blood tests also look for a specific protein made by heart and blood vessels. In heart failure, the level of this protein goes up. Chest X-ray. X-ray images can show the condition of the lungs and heart. Electrocardiogram (ECG or EKG). This quick and painless test records the electrical signals in the heart. It can show how fast or how slowly the heart is beating. echocardiogram sound waves create images of the beating heart this test shows the size and structure of the heart heart valves and blood flow through the heart ejection fraction ejection fraction is a measurement of the percentage of blood leaving your heart each time it squeezes this measurement is taken during an echocardiogram the result helps classify heart failure and guides treatment An ejection fraction of 50% or higher is considered ideal but you can still have heart failure even if the number is considered ideal. Exercise test or stress test. These tests often involve walking on a treadmill or riding a stationary bike while the heart is monitored. Exercise test can show how the heart responds to physical activity. If you can't exercise you might be given medicines. CT scan of the heart also called a cardiac CT scan this test uses x-ray to create cross sectional images of the heart heart mri scan heart mri scan also called a cardiac mri this test uses magnetic fields and radio waves to create detailed images of the heart coronary angiogram this test helps spot blockages in the heart arteries The healthcare provider insert a long thin flexible tube called a catheter into a blood vessel usually in the groin or wrist it's then guided to the heart dye flows through the catheter to arteries in the heart the dye helps arteries show up more clearly on x-ray images and video myocardial biopsy in this test a healthcare provider removes very small pieces of heart muscle for examination This test may be done to diagnose certain types of heart muscle disease that cause heart failure.